7 o'clock. I am in London right now and I'm heading to my first job interview, which is on why I'm wearing snazzy clothes. I'm very excited for this. Uh, so I stayed in the hostel, have slept so so. The cold that I had is it's appeared but this is my first full day in London as a Londoner so now I just have to find a job and a place to live and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do enjoy it please subscribe to my channel because I just moved to London so this is gonna be very exciting and uh, yeah let's see what this day takes us having my first interview but I just need to get something to eat it's only 20 past 7 my interview starts at 8 so I need to get some breakfast first so I'm going to Pret and then I'm going in there and if you know where that is it's a pretty cool interview if I may say so myself <laughs> so the interview is done and now I'm just Got two hours until my next interview, so I'm currently in Next on Oxford Street. Just getting some inspiration for like homeware, because hopefully I'll have a home soon so I can move into that. So I'm just doing some browsing. I'm not buying anything today, but I like browsing in homeware stores. So I'm going here and then I'm going to TK Maxx and then getting maybe a little bit of snack or a drink or something, trying not to spend so much money. And uh, yeah, the interview was quite okay. It was all right. Um, but it was quite hard to know like how I did because it was a group interview but fingers crossed I get a second, a second interview and I'm just going to continue browsing currently like 10 to 9 on a Wednesday. This is the perfect time to come shop in Primark because there's no one here. And you can just like walk around and look at all the things you want to look at without like having to like elbow people out of the way. Excellent. And now I've ended up in the bra section. So I'm gonna go look at pajamas. That's why I came here. Just have a little nosy.
going to do that. I'm looking at their homework stuff. So many nice things. I literally want to buy every single throw. Especially this one. And this one. And they got so many cool Halloween things. This is freaky as hell. And they got so many cool things. now and I'm just gonna change clothes and change shoes and then do some job searching and then see Gary Barlow. This is such a weird angle but as I said in the lift I'm back from my interviews I'm back in my hostel it's very low ceiling uh, or the bunks are very low so I had two interviews today one at Apple store and one at a post-production company and I'm not too sure at how either of the interviews went the first one was like a group interview so it was really hard to like gather like what they thought of you but I did see the notes and he didn't write notes on me and another guy and I'm not sure if that's a positive thing or a negative thing um, and then the post-production interview was like a trial thing first so I literally spent an hour like bringing coffee to people and the guy who was interviewing me wasn't even there so it's very confusing how he can grasp my capabilities and then I didn't know but there was like a test about the company like who's the head manager when they were like founded and like what who the clients are and I had no idea but he left so I was googling these things uh, and then we had an interview and I think I applied for a part-time job and then I just had a salad from Tesco like a Tesco salad deal 250 to be healthy and then I got a salted caramel pudding or afterwards so that wasn't super healthy oops but that cost me 350 so in total if you don't count the subway fare subway the underground I've spent less than 10 pounds today and that's been all on food and now I'm just gonna get my laptop up research and apply for some more jobs and maybe I've got three flat viewings I got another job interview tomorrow and then I'm heading out to see my fave Gary Barlow because he's releasing a book and I've got tickets to his book signing so I'm going to bring you along to that uh, I'm very excited very very excited and I'm probably not going to vlog tomorrow I haven't decided what I'm vlogging yet but I'm going to contact my friend Annie and see if we're hanging out this weekend because then if we're doing that then I'll be vlogging that so I'm not going to be vlogging every single day here in London because I'm pretty much just going to be applying for jobs and going to job interviews but this is my first whole day living in London so I'm very excited for you to uh, see this. It's now 10 past 4, no 10 to 4, the Gary Barlow signing starts at half past 5 so I'm going to actually walk over there now. It's over by Piccadilly Circus so I'm going to walk all the way, it's like a 45 minute walk so I'm going to have a little dander that will get me there to about possibly like 20 to 5 which is a good time to get there people are probably already queuing but I can't be bothered I've got a ticket I'll get in so let's head out into the beautiful city of London again and let's go see my main man's Gary Barlow <laughs>
met Gary Barlow, where I, I met him like half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, and I'm just walking back to my hostel. And he was so nice, the loveliest little man ever. And now I'm just gonna go back to my hostel, find something to eat. I might get some sushi, I haven't decided yet. And then apply for jobs, because I'm getting a little bit stressed out about not having a place to live and not having a job, even though it's just like the first full day. But I'm still a little bit stressed about it, so. I need to get on that, apply for a bunch of jobs, eat the food, edit this vlog, and watch some Desperate Housewives. So I'll see you again next time in a new video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for this London adventure because I live here now. And I'm very excited to share it with you all. I will see you again next time. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye from me and Gary Barlow.